Oh boy, what's up good people? Mark Holmes here as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is, this is exactly a Dallas Cowboys move, without a doubt. So, we have problems across the board um, with, you know, the Cowboys and so on. And this just highlights exactly what I was saying that, you know, we all want to look at and say, fire the coach. We want to say our quarterback, trade that guy because he sucks because he can't throw into the tightest windows in the NFL and, and, and win us the Super Bowl without having that running game, that he has to actually have people around him and stuff. you know. And, and here it is, we're trying to stop the run. And I think I pointed out that you know we try and sell the shit that Jerry Jones does. You know, we, we go through, the Cowboys had a flawed plan. We all saw it. We wanted to ignore it and hope for the best. And unfortunately, we were all wrong. And I said, what did we expect? Uh, what do, if you really are honest with yourself, what do you expect when the Cowboys are the least spending team over the last eight years in free agency? That their moves are, and, and it's no different from 2020, when they brought in Clinton Ha Ha Dix and Don Terry Poe and Gerald McCoy and Emerson Griffin, what they did this year with trading for Jordan Phillips, bringing in Lavelle Joseph and Carl Lawson's, that we literally bring in guys that have not been in the NFL for a couple of years. And Jerry goes on and talks about um, you can't just bring players. You can't find players, you know, at this time of year. And we see Amari Cooper goes to uh, Buffalo and uh, Devontae Adams goes to uh, the Jets. But here's the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, my goodness. The Dallas Cowboys worked out and signed Jalen Dillon. Da -da -da -da. Four picks against. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. I should have done this one. Jalen Dillon. Let's go to the tape here. Oh, there is no tape. Jalen Dillon, if we go to Wikipedia, born August 4th, 1997, an American football defensive to end. For the San Antonio Brahmas of the USFL, of the UFL, he played college football at North Carolina and was signed by the Chicago Bears as an undrafted free agent in, 19, in 2019, and he has spent time with the New Orleans Saints and Atlanta Falcons. If we look at the statistics of what he has, in 2022, at age uh, with Atlanta, he played in seven games. And ended up having eight solo tackles, one tackle for a loss, and 13 combined tackles. His total NFL experience is 32 combined tackles, 19 solos, and two tackles for a loss. And we don't understand why it is we can't seem to get players to perform that you know it, it doesn't matter about having great talented players getting a guy who hasn't played in the nfl for the last two years who's got 32 tackles of experience in his career that sounds like a super bowl guy to me doesn't sound like it to you what's interesting is i was listening to sean and rj rehashing the whole Jerry Jones blow up yesterday. And they actually said something that was interesting was, you know, to be fair to Jerry, when he said, uh, you know, I'll get somebody else to ask the questions. They were trying to give him plausible deniability of firing them that maybe he would be moving to another show that would kiss his ass. That's what, what the gist of what they were saying was. 
But they actually said something that was very profound. That we're not talking about the ass whipping that we took from the Detroit Lions. We're talking about Sean and RJ and their job status. It's interesting to say the least. Already good people. We've got... uh, We've got, of course, our uh, walk of shame here in an hour and 15 minutes, and that's going to be brutal. But I'm a grown-ass man, and you got to do what you got to do. Peace out.